guys what's going on it's Natasha Herbert and I'm back with another video and in today's video I'm going to talk to you guys about an older camera back in the day um, that was very popular and it's called the Polaroid one step now I have the uh, time zero one step I'm not sure what the difference is between the regular one step and the time zero one step I'm actually not sure if you know let me know down in the comments um but I do want to say, so these cameras came out in 1977. They were considered the simplest camera in the world. I think that was like their slogan back in the day. Uh, pretty cool slogan, you know. And um, it was also the start of point and shoot cameras. I think that's like a cool thing, you know. Because um, a lot of us shoot point and shoot cameras. Like a lot of the, uh, I would say, the, the consumers who are your typical like photographers shoot point and shoot cameras. So this camera was marketed to that group of people back in the day. The cool thing about it is the, its design. It was, um, you know, it had a, a, a cooler, it had a really cool design um, other than the other land cameras that came out before that in the 1960s. And um, it just, it was just one of those cameras that a lot of people just like loved. I ended up finding the, one of the original ones and getting it for 40 bucks, which was the same cost of it back then. It was $40 then too, as well. I also ended up getting the accessory that goes on top with the flash because in dark situations, this camera is not great. You do have to use a flash to go with it just to get your exposure right in dark, darker situations. And yeah, so this is pretty much the camera. I'm gonna take the accessory off. If I can't, if I can get it off, come on. It takes It has a like a really tight grip on there. But this is the camera, it's pretty light. Like, it's really light, actually, very light. It came with a strap here. And um, at the very top, you have where you can put like the flash insert. Oh, they have these like little bulbs that you can put on these cameras. And also inside is where you would put your cartridge uh, with your film pack and everything in there and then you just close it up once you close it up it'll automatically spew out the the first you know little test shot thing to make sure everything is is good and then you're ready to shoot it has one little button for your shutter a little shutter button here and you just take pictures now it took some time getting to know because I'm the type like I love doing things like it, there's this nostalgic type feeling although I wasn't born in the 70s it's just this feeling of being like kind of in a time capsule where you're taking pictures the old way and how people used to do them back in the day and that's what I find really cool about getting cameras in its original format um, they do have newer cameras or replicate cameras of this one step camera that they make currently and they're about a hundred bucks and they have all the bells and whistles of course like they you could, you could charge it up with a usb uh, i think you could take selfies with it you don't have to be four feet away um a post you only like two feet away because this one you would have to be about four to eight feet away to get a decent shot. And you also have to be very still with this camera. So that was one of the little hiccups that I ended up finding out along the way of using this little bad boy. But it's cute, you know? This is a cute little camera. And once you do get used to it, you can produce some really great images. Now I have some images here that I'm gonna show you and blow up. It really took some time for me to like get everything exposed correctly and um, to get a great image and without it being too shaky and stuff like that. So the camera works, it's decent, it's cool. And also another key thing is that there was this, there's this company called The Impossible Project where they actually made film for the older cameras. Um, Polaroid ended up stopping creating film for their cameras back in 2007. Now I believe that when it came back out with like the Polaroid One Step and the Polaroid going against like Fuji, for instance, um, 
they started creating their own packs again. I'm going to show you guys a little old commercial that they had back in the day. Roids now invented the easiest way ever to take pictures, the new one step. For the first time, without focusing, you just press a button and a motor hands you the picture. Close shots, long shots, any shots. You never focus. The Sharp Clear SX-70 color comes up in minutes, automatically. Polaroid's new one step, only $39.95, motor and all. It, it does its job. I do prefer this Fujifilm camera over the older Polaroid camera, but this was my first one that I got. This was my first little baby that I ended up getting. And when I saw it spewing out, you know, the images, I was like, oh my God, that's so cute. Like what? So, um, yeah. And then getting the flash attachment helped a lot too. They also have, so this camera also has a little dial. If your subject is dark and it's bright in the back, you would turn your little knob to the darker, to, to the, uh, darker setting. And then if they're too bright and the background is dark, then you'll turn it to lighten it. And that's pretty much it. This camera was very simple. They said it was the simplest camera in the world for a reason. It is super simple. Anybody can like really know how to get, can shoot it. But the, I think the key thing was that you have your distance is super important. So if you're too close, it's going to be blurry. And if you are further back for about four feet or so away, you're going to get a pretty cool picture. You can also find this camera in probably many of the thrift stores if you if you actually look, like there are lots of them. You'll also see the one camera, actually I have a few of them. You can also find a, you can also find a few of these in the thrift stores. You probably have seen these. Um, I think, I can't remember what I got this for, but I think it was like 40 bucks too. And I collect a lot of these cameras. I think, I'm not sure if they currently make film for this. I have to do some research on that, but they may. And um, I can't remember if they, I know that they had continued. And this is another, this is another one right here. Another Polaroid, uh, what is it? Square Shooter 2. And you probably find a lot of these. Like they don't cost that much. You can get this one for like probably 15 bucks, maybe even less than that. Like if you go to the thrift stores, you can find these for like, two bucks, three bucks, something like that. I don't know, like, no, I would say about like five bucks or something. Like I literally, I saw two of them today in a thrift store. I'm always in the thrift store, like always. But yeah, I kind of just wanted to go over this quick. I wanted to give you guys just a quick little review. If you can find this guy, get it, grab it, snag it. It is a cool little camera and it is great to shoot with. It's just for the experience. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I can't express that enough. I love doing reviews on different types of cameras, different types of tech stuff like headphones and all of that. And if you like what I go over in this channel, be sure to like and subscribe. Also leave a comment. Do you have any of these cameras? Have you seen these around in the thrift store? Or maybe even like maybe your grandma or somebody, they actually currently have one of these in their basement or attic or something tell me what you think down below make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video